God is good. He gave us only two options, heaven or hell. One is full of sorrow and the other has no sorrow. So what is your choice going to be? This is Chico and Clay and welcoming you to Light of the World on One Vision Gospel Media. Heaven or hell? What's your choice? Heaven, zero sorrow. Hell, full of sorrow. What if God had given us multiple choices? Would have been a whole different story, wouldn't it? But He's a good God and He loves us. And so He gives us only two options. And any sane person or human being can choose and see that heaven is the right place to choose. And to get to heaven, we need a savior and he provides that savior. And his name is Jesus. He is the only way, the truth and the life. And God gives us his only begotten son. We don't have to pay a penny to get to heaven. Jesus had paid that price for us with his life and his resurrection. Let us bear this in mind. His resurrection is the most important aspect of a Christian life. Because at the cross, Jesus crucified our sin. But with his resurrection, he has given us the righteousness of God. Isn't that amazing? But today, I want to talk about how we can love God back. And, you know, have you ever wondered how we should be loving God? It is said, we must love God with all our heart. Can you do that? Can you actually give God all your heart? Leave everything else behind and follow God with all your heart? Because it is said in Mark chapter 12, verse 28 to 31, we must love God with all our heart. But how do we do that? So let us read Mark chapter 12, verse 28 to 31. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, of all the commandments, which is the most important? Of all the commandments. See, bear in mind that there are 613 commandments in the Old Testament, which must be followed. Not being able to follow one of these commandments, it means straight to hell. That is the law. And this teacher of the law, is asking Jesus of all those commandments which is the most important and in verse 29 Jesus answered the most important one answered Jesus is this hear O Israel before I go on hear O Israel why Israel well in the Old Testament again God chose the Israelites and called them his people the Israelites were the chosen people of God. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. Let's keep this in mind. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. In verse 30, love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than this. No commandment is greater than these two commandments. One, the first one, is to love God. And the second is to love our neighbors. And who are our neighbors? Our neighbors are anyone we come across. Anyone we come into contact with. Any human being we mingle with. Alright, this are our neighbors and we are supposed to love them 
as we love ourselves. So let's get back to verse 30 where Jesus says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart. How can I love God with all my heart? The answer is found in verse 29. Jesus says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Okay? Jesus is saying, You people of God, our Lord is God, and He is the only God. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. Worship no other gods. There are no other gods that you must worship. Worship comes from the heart. And so your heart of worship belongs to the one and only living God. And He is your God that delivered you from Egypt. But what did the Israelites do? They made a statue and worshipped that statue. God wasn't pleased with that. How about us? Whom do we worship? Or rather, what do we worship? Is it our riches? Is it our fame? Some of us, is it our poverty? Because some of us are actually proud. We boast of being poor. There is no excuse. No matter what situation you may be, pride comes in, even unknowingly. So who is your God? What is your God? You should not worship anything else but God, the living God. Because in the New Testament, Jesus would not be saying, O Israel, He would say, O believer, your God is the only God you must worship. Because as a believer, you have become a chosen people of God. Because by the blood of Christ, you have been given the right to be called sons and daughters of God. Because you are born of spirit. So, your heart of worship belongs to God alone. No other gods worship the living God only because our Lord is the only God. But Jesus didn't end there. He says, Love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul. With all your soul. Soul here is sikes in the Greek. Sikes means the breath of life. The life that God gave us in the Garden of Eden when God made Adam. God breathed the life into Adam and we became alive. Not like other animals, but God breathed His breath of life in Adam. And that is how we are connected to God. And so this breath of life for as long as we have it, we are to worship God and no one else. For as long as we live, for as long as we can breathe. Sikhes means, like I have said, breath of life, the human soul. The soul as the seed of affection and will. The self, a human person. An individual as long as you are a person as long as you are an individual you must worship God our God the living God alone no other gods will fill your heart for as long as you live worship God and we can find that in Matthew chapter 24 verse 13 where Jesus says, But the one who remains faithful to the end will be saved. That is Jesus saying, If you are faithful to the end, 
you will be saved. Be faithful to the end until you breathe your last. Worship the living God. What about this? With all your mind, how can we love God with all our mind? Well, our eyes betray us. What we hear betray us. Temptations come from what we see and what we hear. As a recovered alcoholic, when he sees an advertisement in a TV or in the internet, YouTube or anywhere else, he is easily tempted because he sees the bottle of whiskey and he knows the taste and temptation comes. And you can relate this to what you have done in the past and any other temptations. What you see is what tempts you and what you hear will also tempt you. But if you dwell on that, keep thinking about it and ponder over it over and over again, what happens? You fall into temptation. It's kind of like a bird that flies in the sky. You have no authority to make the birds stop flying. They will keep flying. But for the bird to build a nest on your head, you have the power to shoo it off. You are tempted every day. We as human beings are tempted every day. But to fall into temptation, it is our will. God has given us the free will. Use that free will well. Because if you are not faithful to the end, you might not be saved. Because Jesus says, if you are faithful to the end, you will be saved. If you are not faithful to the end, you will not be saved, my friend. And here's another one. Jesus didn't end there. He says, love God with all your strength. What are your strengths? As for me, I love to play drums. So I dedicate my love for playing drums to glorify God. I have made a commitment that I will not play any other songs but songs of praise for God. I'm not telling you to do that, but what are your strengths? How can you praise God with your talent, with your skills, with your qualification? Strengths can come in different forms, in many different forms. Some may have money, wealth. I don't need to go on telling you how to worship God with your money. But what about art? What about music? What about fashion? Think of a way in which you can worship God with the talent that you have. That is worshiping God with our strength. It is not that difficult after all, is it? We are to focus on the living God alone. No other gods. What if we were to worship five different gods? Think of it this way. Like we have said at the beginning. God gave us two choices, heaven and hell. Choose God and go to heaven. Choose God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Refrain from worshipping anything else but God, the living God, until your very last breath. Worship the living God. Thank you so much and may you be blessed.